Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. So I'm going to show you the Bigelokia and the uh, 45 gallon trash can. And the plant's been doing very well, but I've noticed the um, leaves are looking a little uh, deficient. Seeing them kind of getting yellow. And um, it's kind of feeling the uh, pressure. I think the nutrients down here probably. And it was up to here. So being this was a mature plant to start with, it drank uh, the nutrients quite a bit faster than my butch tea in the 60 gallon container. So that one's actually still doing really well. So what I'm going to do is carefully lift this out, dump out the old nutrients, and then fill it up about uh, a little over, or about halfway. So it'd be a little over what it is now, but not by much. The thing with cracky containers, you have to be really careful. The cracky method is designed to be more of a fill and forget so you would have enough nutrients to last the entire growth cycle. In this case um, we're going to not have enough nutrients to do that so but we have to be careful is if you overfill it too much the plant can drown because what happens is as the uh, roots grow downward and the nutrient solution goes down the roots above the moist air layer uh, start doing all or most of the uh, gas exchange so this becomes where the plant primarily gets its oxygen and then the roots in the solution are doing all the feeding. So if you fill it up uh, up above to where the air roots are, you could drown the plant. So you can get away with raising it up a little bit, but I usually don't go more than halfway. Usually a little under half is what I go if I'm really filling a container. So that's what I'm going to do with this, and then I'll show you how it looks after. But well, these leaves should should start to look better. It's got a lot of fruit on it. I picked one round of these already that were ripe. And there's a bunch more turning. So it's still got a lot left, uh, a lot more production left on here. So I want to save these fruits. So I want to try to do this nutrient swap. And I'll show you how I do that here in just a second. Okay, so we got this emptied out. The uh, pH was 4.4, so that's why the nutrient deficiency was showing. The uh, plants weren't able to absorb the nutrients over there. They were probably pretty much shot anyway. So I decided to empty this out, and I put a marker to kind of... The water line originally was about right there, so I'm just going to kind of fill it up to that and then put fresh nutrients. So that should uh, help the plant out. So we go ahead and fill that back up, and we'll get it going again. I accidentally overfilled it just a little bit, so um, I drained some of it back out. So when I'm mixing the nutrients, I'm using the Dynagrow about one teaspoon per gallon. I'm estimating for about 20 gallons. So I'm going to mix that in and check the strength. It's registered in between three and four hundred ppm just fine for this. So now we're going to just set the plant back in and secure it and let it go. Hopefully that'll get it through the rest of the season. So yeah, this is done. Um, so that's how you can replace nutrients in a large cracky system. Ideally you wouldn't even have to do that if the container was large enough to begin with. But uh, this one depleted it out pretty quickly because it was a mature plant to begin with and did a lot of growing and fruiting. Assuming I didn't fill it up too much, the um, the yellow leaves should start to green back up a little bit and look normal again. Hopefully I got that dialed in right on the nutrient level. We'll see. So I'll show you how it looks in a few days and we'll see how we did. Okay, so it's been about two and a half weeks since I swapped out the nutrients and there's still some leaves kind of yellow. They may just stay that way, but all the new growth is looking good and green. <clears throat> that's coming out in the I just actually picked a bunch of these pods and not all of them on here that were a few minutes ago but there's a lot of ripe fruit that looks perfectly fine see that massive trunk on that guy this is a pretty old plant so uh, so yeah that looks like swapping that out saved it and um, these yellow leaves should still continue to improve new growth looks good 
and um, I'll probably just kind of maintain it from this point out. It's getting kind of close to the end of the season. So I just wanted to share that. I hope that was helpful. Just remember the main thing with cracky systems. If uh, they're really not the original intents not to be refilled, but if you do try to keep it as close to the original level as possible or else you could drown the air roots. So that's what I did with this plant and, and it looks fine. So um, anyway, hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.